Alright guys, it's Keymaster PL and we are gonna do some Sonic Adventure Director's Cut. Yes, yeah, Sonic DX. Now before we actually get into the main part of the game, I'm gonna do a little bio of each character we have. So, we'll start with the Sonic bio before we actually start the main gameplay. Let's start this off. Okay, so let's get into the character bio for Sonic the Hedgehog. We start off with the fact that this is actually the first Sonic game that had voiceovers. So, let's talk about the person who was the voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog in Sonic Adventure. This guy's name is Ryan Drummond. Now, he didn't just do Sonic Adventure, he actually did a lot of Sonic games after that, which I've listed here on the screen for you. He also did Sonic Shuffle, where he did Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Adventure 2, Sega Superstar, he was Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Heroes, Sonic and Metal Sonic, Sonic Battle, Sonic Advance 3, and originally he was going to be the voice actor for Sonic and Sonic Rush, but then it got taken over by Jason Griffith, who is a person who's been the Sonic voice actor ever since. So, that's a little bit about that. Now we go on to uh, just Sonic and the new things you get within Sonic. Sonic, as you guys know, is the main character of Sonic Adventure, and he does the normal thing of stopping Dr. Robotnik, so I'm not going to really go into that, but there is a few new things that's added. One. Sonic now has, other than the normal spin attack that he can do, the charge spin, he now has a homing attack. You do this by pushing the jump button twice, and the second time Sonic will do a homing attack. So that's something new that's been added to Sonic Adventure. Also something new that's been added is three new abilities. Now I'm not going to say what they are now because we'll get them later, but they are pretty helpful and they do set things that happen in the next uh, Sonic game. So all these abilities, well most of the abilities you see, you'll see later on in the other Sonic Adventure games. Now we're done with the Sonic bio, we're going to head back into Sonic Adventure. Okay, now that we're back, after be saying started off like 50 times before, let's actually get into the gameplay of Sonic Story. Now just to let, let you know, I will be saying commentary throughout the whole thing, so even during cutscenes I will be saying things every now and then to liven up the commentary even though some of it's rather funny how they say things but you'll see that as the game progresses and enter Sonic awesome city background oh yeah this is happening huh even though you didn't do anything Sonic it how is it happening whatever What's going on here? Sonic wants the same thing. Let's go find out, shall we? And now it's suddenly raining. You are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Whoa, that guy just kind of slid into place. <laughs> Lock on target, man. Ready? So, Sonic Adventure introduces us with this oh, no. new character. You can already see now. the new character because it's right there. Oh, yeah. this could be fun. And Sonic thinks of it as a challenge. Just let's go out and fight this monster. Okay, so this new beast, I guess we could call it, his name's Chaos. And it's Chaos Zero. The reason for this is, well, I, I don't really want to spoil everything about Chaos just yet, so we'll just leave Chaos be mystery for now. Just run around and get the coins really quickly. Ah, not run into Chaos. That would be better. Come on, Chaos, jump down, jump down. Jump! Stop it. Okay, so... Hey, I'll really easy. It takes three hits to take Chaos down. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? And Sonic still wants to take Chaos on. He just thinks he's all that. But I guess in the Sonic world, he is all that. So, really nothing we can complain about that so much. Into Robotnik. We know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> so at least now we know that Chaos is the god of destruction, but we don't know why. 
that will still be found out later. I'm not going to spoil that for you. I can't spoil everything in this game. And now it's only morning, and we're at the huh? pool. What? And there's tails. Tails. Watch out! You're gonna crash. Ah! <laughs> I love how he says that line. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Tails. And ah, tails goes and crashes. What am I gonna do with you? GG tails for not being a uh, good plane drive pilot. Yes, that's the word. So now we're gonna go to the first level. It's called Emerald Coast. So let's get this started, shall we? Okay. So, if you saw on the bottom of the screen, it tells us exactly what we need to do for our first, well, first showing here at Emerald Coast, which is go and rescue Tails. So, let's go do it. Tails, we're here to save you! Alright. Now, in Sonic Adventure, the game is actually fast, more fast-paced than you would think. The reason I say this is because most of the 3D Sonic games never really had the speed aspect. This game actually does. It might not seem like it does if, from uh, how I play the first couple levels, but trust me, when we get farther into it, you'll actually see how fast this game can be. Especially when I do the speed runs of each level, then it'll really show you how this game is meant to, well not really meant to be played, but how this game can be broken and just totally exploited for the better. Okay. So we continue on, and there's Shamu. Hi, Shamu. I didn't know we were at SeaWorld. Anyway, other than cameo Shamu from SeaWorld, we continue on on the pier. So no! That's new. I've never had that one happen before. It's actually rather strange. I'm not gonna lie. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. No! That was my my bad. That was just me being stupid. Okay, let's try this again with efforts. Which I seem to be lacking a lot of. Okay. So, yes. This game, as I was saying, this game actually is fast paced. And you'll see more of that later. And this game can also be told jerk to you sometimes, like it just was to me with that whale. Okay. At least we made up one of those two of these. We get to make it. Ah, uh, I missed. We get to make up two of the extra lives and a lot more as we go throughout the game. This game just hands you extra lives like candy to a baby. So it's actually pretty nice. You can die a lot because you have the right to die a lot, basically. Okay, so here's the second part of the first stage in Milk Coast. Um. Really nothing much to this level, there's no real super crazy, well there are super crazy tricks, there's another extra life that we just made up for dying. There are some super crazy tricks about this level to make it go by really fast. I'll show this to you later, but I'll do one right now because, oh I guess not, didn't work out, oh well, things happen. But yeah, actually after the first level I will speed everything up big time. So once we get to the second level, I'm going to start doing speedrunning techniques and just make the gameplay move a lot faster. We don't want all the levels to uh, we don't want all the levels to take years, ages, centuries. Really <sighs> But this game decides that says screw me and it's just gonna do what it wants to do and glitch. It's actually the most this game has glitched on me before. Never done this. Oh well. So at least we ended the level with more lives than we started it with, but that really did not go anywhere near how it should have been. Yeah, not bad. And we get one emblem. Hey Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What's up with that tail? Why'd you crash? What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's not a good you never really ever know that Tails is a pilot. Why not just use my plane, the tornado? 
All you know is that you can fly the tornado, but that doesn't really say much about it. And he has a purple gas emerald. <laughs> Whoa, when they have all caps like that, this is when the song says it. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. Unlimited power! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic! You gotta come over to his workshop! It's in the Mystic Ruins! The fastest way is by train! Let's go! Alright, so we know what we need to do, but first, before we go, I want to talk about how the fact that we got one emblem for beating that level. Each level, for every character, has three emblems you can get. So that means we can come back to Emeralds two more times to do two different things to get two more emblems. Now for Sonic, this is going to be a 50 coin collection and then a speed run. Now, when it comes to doing this, I will actually have the those videos come right after this, so you're actually going to see the two sp the coins in the speedruns like very soon once I'm done talking. Um, because I want to make it clear for how everything works, and that's when I actually will bust out me actually being good, and hopefully the glitches won't come and destroy me like they did in that first level. Also, um, oh crap, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Uh, that didn't go well. So anyway, uh, yeah, so you get to go see how this game is supposed to be played. Yes, still by me, but we'll just do a lot better, so this we'll come back. Be the center of the city. Yeah, thank you, Sonic, for telling you something obvious. So we'll be back after, well, we're done with those two. That 50 coin collection and the speed run of Emerald Coast.
Okay, now that we're back, we're at the train station, but before we actually go to Mystic Ruins, I actually want to show you something. This area is called Station Square, if you didn't pick that up already. Now, you don't really know much about Station Square because it is completely new to the Sonic Adventure, and you actually really rarely see it again. But, you do see it, and I want to explain more about this area, so, yep, time for another bio. Alright guys, now to talk about Station Square. Station Square is a fictional city and is one of the three uh, adventure fields in the Sonic Adventure. Now there are many parts of Station Square, including there's a Twinkle Park, there's a casino, there's an elevator to a speed highway that's above the city, and there's a train station which goes to the Mystic Route and stuff. Now, Station Square was actually trying to resemble New York City. So, I, I don't know how well it did, in your opinion or my opinion, I really have never been to New York City, so I can't really tell you what I think how it does look like it or not, but there's that. And it supposedly has a population of uh, 23,856,427 people, so that's pretty big. Now there also are um, some, a lot of different areas, uh, such as the coastal area, train station, as I said again, there's a hotel, an office building which hosts uh, Cybernet Incorporated, as I said, Twinkle Park, the casino, as I said again, you have City Hall, and there's a sewer in it. Now, those are the areas, I'm not going to really go into what I have on the screen about each area, because a lot of it is spoilers, so if you guys want to read it, you can uh, check it out, pause the video, read it, and such, but I'm going to move on. Uh, now... As right now I have the random facts up, this is more, uh, more stuff that you can read on your own. I'm going to have this up, but I'm not really going to talk about anything a part of that. I just have those up for your enjoyment. But I want to talk a little bit about other things and uh, st about Station Square. Now, Station Square is also seen in the, the Archie, uh, Archie published Sonic the Hedgehog comics. You also will see it in the... In the uh, the TV show Sonic X. Sorry, it just slipped my mind. Uh, that it, there's a whole section about it, which actually the whole section resembles the Sonic Adventure storyline in the TV show Sonic, the cartoon show Sonic X. Now you'll also see it later in Sonic Chronicles after the issue happens. I'm not gonna tell you what the issue is because that will once again spoil a lot of the story, but. That's basically the games that it's been in. Uh, I gave you a bunch of information about Station Square. Uh, I think we're good with that. Now we're going to head back and continue on with our quest with Sonic and Sonic Adventure. Alright, and we're back once again. So we're actually going to continue on with the story this time and head over to the Mystic Ruins. Let's go train ride. Now the train in the original Sonic Adventure is actually red, so that's something that you can keep in mind. Also something you can keep in mind is that you'll have one specific thing that totally breaks Sonic's adventure in Sonic Adventure DX, and Sonic is stuck in a walking down walking pose when he's on stairs, never noticed that before. But anyway, one thing that totally breaks this game with Sonic is his spin. What I mean by that is this. This breaks the game. You wanna know why? Because you can get to ridiculous heights if you go off ramps. Any ramp will do that. So that's something that you'll see me do a lot to just totally destroy this game. For now, we're gonna head over to there, that building over there, that's Tails' workshop. So let's go. <laughs> and it's great. Look, it's a giant talking egg. Finally, I am Dr. Robotnik. The greatest scientific genius Yeah, yeah, world. keep thinking that to yourself, Dr. What Robotnik. You realize the fact that Sonic's an Eggman and they're not Robotnik. Keep that in your mind. You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere. Or else! Or else yeah, what? Like we're just gonna give them to you. Or else I'll take them from you by force. The hard way. Bring it on, Robotnik! We'll take you on. We'll show you what's what. That doesn't look that threatening. Especially for this, since we're Sonic. Alright. Let's go. This is the Egg Hornet. Very simple. It 
there's really nothing much to this boss. It just does a few things, which is shoot rockets at you, which is doing now, and then robotic. Uh, wow, so much for saying nothing really much to this boss. And it will launch at you like he's about to do now. And when he launches at you, you want to jump and spaz the homing attack. Now, if the game doesn't slow down like it did right there, you actually can kill Robotnik with one go of him coming down. Weaker he gets, the more rockets he shoots at you. Kind of obvious. But yeah, when he doesn't, it's just oh, annoying because we have to wait for this again. Ow. Whatever. We'll just finish him off. Gain a couple rings. You done, Eggman. We defeated hey, you, sucker. And Sonic is looking in the total opposite direction, nowhere near towards the camera. <sighs> yes, yeah, stuff like that happens a lot at the ending sequences. No, Eggman didn't look that happy right there. <laughs> what is he holding on to? Oh no! Okay. If it wasn't me, he said, "Oh no," and text box said. Ah. Chaos. Nice job there, uh, Sega. Nice job. And yes, Chaos oh, no. is Isn't back. The same monster I saw the other day? But something happens when he gets a Chaos Emerald. He digivolves. Oh yes, it's just as the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> it's not really digivolving, but. I just to say that. Every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. So now we know what Robotnik's main plan is. And there's the other part of it. I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will And there's a land of it. Come on, Chaos. Let's find another emerald, shall we? So that's what Robotnik's wanted to do this whole time. Sonic! We can't let him get away with this, Great. can we? No way, Tails! I don't know why for Tails to say that's really funny. Can't transform, so it's up to us to get the right here. before Eggman does, huh? What's the point of changing how you said huh compared to everything else in that rest of that line? Oh anyway. So yes. We still have to come over to sales of this workshop here, and there's a stone here. This is what this is the key to lead us to the next level. So we'll walk over here, and once we jump down, you want to hug the wall and stay to the right. You'll eventually see an opening. Go in the opening. You'll eventually see a pedestal. We'll put it down in front of the pedestal, and there you go. Okay. So this is the second level, Windy Valley. Let's do it. Alright, so, as I was saying before about Eggman, you want to keep that in mind because after this game, Sonic Adventure, Dr. Robotnik is officially started to be called Eggman. So this is a game that started that all. Now another thing is the fact, I lost my chance because I started thinking about this. Okay, before you actually go in the, uh, this where you have the archway with a bunch of uh, windmills or pinwheels or whatever, pinwheels, uh, you actually don't... Uh, I didn't mean to actually go in it, but you actually want to do a spin dash, because if you do a spin dash, you'll launch a lot farther out of... If you don't, you have to wait for the trampoline and take a lot more time, like we just did. When you get to the bridge, you want to make sure you launch over so you actually get the one up, or else you'll miss it and bad things happen, and blah blah blah. Uh, yes, but this is the first game that a it was reduced as introduced as Amen Dot Dr. Robotnik, so... That's something that annoys me because I always thought of him as Dr. Robotnik in original Sonic one. games. It, it was Robotnik. Jump as soon as you now if you want to go through the game fast, fall. try as hard as you can not to hit the fairy. The reason I say this is because the fairy will instantly stop your momentum no matter where you are. So it's very annoying when you're trying to go through later levels. The fact that your momentum is just totally stopped and you're running really fast. Now what I just did there when I was in the air was I just pushed forward after coming out because it's just a straight path. So push forward makes you go farther. Simple as enough. Whoa, game froze there for seconds. Okay. Now Windy Valley is 
very interesting level that actually has a lot of glitches in it. And when I first found out about these glitches, I was kind of like, crazy about like how each of them was pulled off and how everything is done about it. For instance, that the air, like I don't think the game developers expected you to do that, and how you go high enough that if you pull this off right, which I did almost did, uh, we'll just head over here, that you can actually land straight onto the uh, the pathway and skip having to land farther up and have to walk down it. And if you do it right, it actually is faster, but I screwed up, so I guess it really didn't add didn't reduce the time it takes for me to finish the level at least. Okay. And we have reached the end of the level. You wanna grab some coins right here, even though it doesn't really help us since there's only ten. But every coin matters, I guess. To some extent. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, Tails being in front of us, that happens a lot too. The train headed for Station Square will